this is the object that I recorded yesterday uh, and I went back to the camera the same camera today to try to see if I could see it again and uh, the first thing I I went back early I got this at 830 Texas time yesterday so I went back at around 7 and this is what I saw you know the, the Sun the moon was fixing to scoot over you know to the west over here and set in the west and the this thing was you know this looks like uh, some asteroids or anomalies or something I'm not sure what it is um, here by the moon so I just kept watching this camera and the next the next frame within just a few minutes See, this was at 22.15. Uh, the next frame, it looked like this. Like something had hit the moon and stirred up a bunch of dust. I didn't know if it was uh, atmospheric, you know, distortion from the earth or something on the moon had hit the moon. So I just kept watching and recording, taking pictures because it was just one frame at a time because they don't have uh, time lapse and it would have taken hours to record so anyway the next one was okay this one I went to another another I went to another camera and this was another camera and it was this is what the moon looked like over there and I just kept recording. Let's see. This was at 22:30. This was at 22:45. Let's see. There's the moon in the west. And this is the other camera, the one that where the west is on the right side. And this is what it looked like. 2245. This one's at 2250. West. 2250 with it setting on the right and the, on the other camera. I think it's pretty much the same view. One's just a lot larger than the other one. And this is the uh, 2300, and you're starting to see it a little bit better. This is 2300 from the south. This is the south camera, so it's on the far, far right side of it. Uh, but look at this. What the heck is that? Coming from the moon or what? It looks like a... Uh, something being ejected from the moon from an impact you know like something hitting it and then all this ejected is coming out but I'm not sure I, you know won't know till because it's on the probably on the back side of the moon so we'll never know I don't know all right so here's at 2300 from the the large camera where it sits on the right This is the West camera, 2310. It's got all these waves coming off of it. This is 2310 from the other large overhead camera. Uh, this is 2300. I got the times backwards, but anyway, go to the next one. Okay, this is a different overhead camera, and it's at 2321. And there's the moon. With all this, uh, I don't know, it's clouds, moon dust, or what, you know. There's 2310. This is the south camera.
2320, the south camera. And this is 2330, the overhead camera. 2325, that's giving off sun dogs, it's so bright. And this one's 23.33 on the other overhead cam. 23.33 on the large overhead cam, the original one we've been watching from. 23.30 from the west cam. Twenty-three thirty-five from the south camera. It's got these waves going off of it. Twenty-three forty from the west camera. Look at that. And right here, it almost looks like something like a object might be being thrown off with it or coming into view here. And this is 2344 from the other overhead camera. This is 2340 from the first original overhead, the large overhead camera. And here's two bright objects here. And this is where uh, the moon would have been when this happened around the same time. I took this before I, before that happened, so, or did I take it afterwards? I can't remember. But anyway, this is around the same time. This it was over here uh, yesterday when I got the other picture of the asteroid. It had already come over to this side of the uh, South America. So it was before that happened, it was over here. So, you know. And this is 2355, one of the last shots I got. It's still got the bright sundial because it's so bright. This is 2355, from the original overhead camera where I got the first asteroid picture from. 2355 from the south camera. And this is 2400 from the the blue overhead camera. And this was what I thought it might be, but this is a it's just the shape like it. It's I checked on it and this this one is a main uh, belt asteroid from the you know main asteroid belt so unless it got pulled out of its orbit that it's hardly likely that that's what it is but it just happens to be shaped like it and while we're on this page though look at the size of this thing this one here is huge it's 68 miles across probably 68 miles this way And this one's 32 miles this way. I think that's what it said. And here is Dactyl. It's that one I just showed you. The 32 foot one has a satellite, and this is the satellite of it. <laughs> Here's the two objects side by side, just to do a side by side comparison. And this object, it could be either way. Uh, it's got a thing on both ends, and this thing has a thing on both ends. A blurred object here on this end. It could be looking at it down long ways, you know, so that it looks shorter than it really is. But um, anyway, I just had to do that. It just looks so much like it. 
even though I mean it would have this would have had to have been pulled out of the asteroid belt for it to be the one the same thing because it's a main asteroid belt uh, object and uh, here's some more on it they've done a lot of study on it uh, Galileo f flew by it on uh, in 1993 they got this all these shots of it see it's got the doesn't have any of it long ways though except this one kind of <clears throat> where it looks shorter because it's at an angle but uh, just had to do that and let's see what else we got here uh, here's more about it like all main astro uh, main belt asteroids it lies between Mars and Jupiter. Um, it's oblong shaped. Anyway, it's uh, made of a combination of stone and iron. 